Daniloquin is on a branch of the Murray River called the Edwards River, which runs into the Wakul River and then back to the Murray. Have you been doing a little bit of research, Tessa? I have been doing some research. The Daniloquin Lagoon Restoration Project is the result of several community organisations coming together to improve these wetlands mm -hmm. and also educate us on the benefit and purposes of them. Love it. Yeah, it's good. Tell me more. I will, thank you for asking. <laughs> so these wetlands are designed to act as a natural filtration system for water flowing in and out of the Edward River. Plus, they help develop and protect aquaculture, bird life. Frogs. The whole lot and educate people like you and me who probably don't know too much about. This is true. And at the same time, gives us lovely places to walk and sit mm. and take in the world. Yeah, I'm going to go read a sign. I'm going to go and sit and close my eyes in the sunshine. OK. <laughs> hey, when you think of fish native to the Murray-Darling Basin, what species do you think of? Carp. Good. Cod. Yes. But did you know that there are 46 native fish species that inhabit that region? Did not know that. Well, neither did I until I read these signs. But the purpose of these wetlands is to probably protect and develop some species that need a little bit of a help. What a great space. Yeah. You know what? If I lived in Denny, I wouldn't buy a fish tank. I'd just come down here. Like a natural fish tank. A bit fish of fish tank. watching. It's a testament to all the communities that are working together to develop this area, isn't it? I love it. Now for that sunshine you're looking for? I'm just going to do a bit of fish watching. <laughs> Trying to soak up the solitude and beauty of these lagoons is pretty hard with Terry around, so I sent him off to find out about the ute muster.